It's on to the semifinal round of the Big 12 Conference Tournament for the 10th seeded Mountaineers. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Caridi along with Jay Jacobs. West Virginia does it, knocking out the number two seed, Texas Tech 79 to 74, and in the process becomes the first 10 seed to make it to the semifinal round. It's the fourth consecutive year that West Virginia goes into the semis. And uh, Jay, before we look ahead, uh, what an unbelievable performance and uh, outing by this Mountaineer team. You know, Tony, I've been in since October. I've been watching these young kids come into practice, after practice, shoot around, continue to play a little two on two all the time, not thinking that they would have any opportunity like this to light up the, the, way, the court the way they did, but they've all come together. Yeah, foul shooting was so important. If you remember, first game between WV and Texas Tech regular season in Morgantown, West Virginia shoots below 50% from the free throw line. In this game, they won the game at the free throw line. They missed two free throws the entire night. They go 20 of 22, including some massively late free throws that held off Texas Tech. So when it was over, obviously a very elated West Virginia locker room. Jordan McCabe was asked how this Mountaineer team has been able to put it together. I can't remember exactly when it was during the season that we kind of got everything in order and, and started to grow day by day, but you could just kind of feel a difference in the culture. Uh, we knew that needed to shift in terms of our practices and um, all of our workouts, you know, wherever it may be, workout in the weight room or on the court. Uh, we started to take steps and strides, um, and I think, to be honest, we just got back to what West Virginia does. Uh, we got back to doing the things that, you know, made us come here in the first place. You know, we watched the teams, you know, led by Dax, JC, and, and guys before them uh, just playing extremely hard and representing West Virginia in the right way. And I think once we all bought into that, I think a buy-in is, is the biggest thing that you need out of a, su a successful team. Um, and I don't, don't know if we had the buy-in early, uh, but we've, we figured that out. And I think that's really been a testament to, to our success here down the stretch. And so West Virginia has now knocked off the number seven seed, the number two seed, and it advances on to the semifinal round here. Jay, what's the key now to play three games in three nights for a young team? Rest. You know, get off your feet. They'll have to practice tomorrow, Tony, at some time. They'll work out for an hour, get the right food in you, and then they do play the second game tomorrow night. So that's an advantage for a little bit more rest. But one of the amazing things at Texas Tech, averages or holds their opponents to 59 points a game. And what happens? West Virginia just runs out and scores 79. Yeah. And Emmett Matthews leads the way. What a fantastic performance. One of four Mountaineers in double figures. Matthews ends the game with 28 points, including 10 out of 14 from the field, six of six at the free throw line. And he continues to make a wonderful case. As I said, four in double figures. Derek Culver didn't get there in scoring, but he got there again in rebounds. He had 13. Again, total team effort by the Mountaineers. So our pregame coverage begins at 8.30, tip off around 9.30 for this semifinal round matchup. We invite you to join us on the Mountaineer Sports Network. Along with Jay Jacobs, I'm Tony Caridi. Our report here from Kansas City brought to us by United Bank, united with the Mountaineers. So long from Kansas City on the Mountaineer Sports Network, WVSports.com.